Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. I am from Department of Electrical Engineering. In today's session, we are going to discuss about a topic related to solution of linear simultaneous equation. And in that, we will discuss today how to solve a problem of matrix inversion by Gauss Jordan method. So let's see, this is what is our example. Find the inverse of following matrix by Gauss Jordan method. Now matrix has been given to us, which is 8 minus 4, 0, minus 4, 8, minus 4, 0, minus 4, 8. So first what we have to do, we have to represent the matrix in this format. Now this A will be equal to what? This A will be equal to, if you see, this is 8 minus 4, 0, minus 4, 8, minus 4, 0, minus 4, 8. After that, we have to write it as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And now, we have to perform here row transformations. So how to solve? Let's see here. First, I will write it as step number 1. So here in the step number 1, we have to make this R1, that is this element, as a 1. So how we can do it? Just we have to divide this R1 by that element itself, that is R1 divided by 8. So we will get, I am going to write this R2 and R3 as it is, because there is no any change. So let me write it as it is. Here if you see 0, 1, 0, it will be 0, 0. So let's divide this, what you will get? It will be 1. If you divide four, minus 4 by 8, it will be what? It will be minus 0 0.5. This will be 0. This will be 1 by 8. Now what is 1 divided by 8? 1 divided by 8, if you see, uh, it will get 0 0.125. 1 divided by 8. Here it will be 0. Here also it will be 0. So let us check the answer. This is 1 divided by 8. You will get 0 0.125. Yes, it is correct. Now, what to do here in a step number 2? I will write it as here step number 2. With the help of this R1, we have to make this element 0. Now, already this element is 0, so no need to do that calculation. So, what I will do? I will write it here by we need to do a change in R2. So I am writing it as R2 equal to R2. We have to take help of R1. So I will write it as here R1. For R2 we have minus 4 value. So I am writing it as a plus 4 R1. So let us see what will be the answer. Now as it is expected to do change only in R2. So I am going to write R1 as it is. So 1 minus 0 0.5, 0 it will be as it is. This is 0 0.125, then 0, 0 as it is. Now, here uh, R3 also we will write it as it is 0, minus 4, 8, 0, 0, 1. So, let us apply this. Here, this will be 0, but obvious. Now, apply this formula to this row. What is R2 here? I am writing it here. This is a rough word. 8 plus 4 into what is R1? it will be minus 0 0.5. So let us do this on a calculator. 8 plus 4 into minus 0 0.5. So you will get answer as a 6. So here it will be 6. Apply same formula to this column. R2 is minus 4 plus 4 into R1 will be 0. That is it will be a minus 4. Apply to this particular uh, column. R2 is what? R2 is 0. Let me write it here. 0 plus 4 into R1 is 0.125. So if you do 4 into 0.125, then you will get answer as a 0 0.5. So here it will be 0 0.5. Apply for this column. What is R2? It is 1 plus 4 into 0. So you will get here answer as a 1. Apply to this column, we will get answer as a 0. Now, next thing is what we have to do we have to make this particular term as a 1. So how we can make? Let me write it as step number 3. So
so i have to divide this r2 by that element itself so it will be r2 equal to r2 divided by 6 so here if you write it as now i am going to write this r1 and r3 as it is so 1 minus 0.5 0 0 minus 4 8 it will be as it is then 0.125 0 0 as it is 0 0 1 it will be as it is now this is 0 this will be 1 now apply to this particular uh, row or sorry this particular column so r2 divided by 6 means minus 4 divided by 6 what will be the answer minus 0.6666 okay apply to this what is r2 0.5 so 0.5 divided by 6 you will get 0.0833 so 0.0833 apply to this what is r2 1 so if you do 1 divided by 6 you will get 0.1666 and again here the answer will be 0 now what is the next step what we have to do here we have to make let me write here step number 4 we have to make this element and this element as a zero by taking help of r2 so how to write this formula i have to do change in the r1 so i am writing it as r1 equal to r1 i need to take help of r2 so that's why here i am writing it as a r2 here if you see for the r1 we have what minus 0.5 so here we have to write plus 0.5 similarly in a r3 So here R3 equal to R3. We have to take help of R2. Here, if you see, it is minus four, so it will be a plus four. Now we will apply this equation one by one to both the rows. Here we need to do change in R1 and R3. So okay, let me write this one zero 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 one zero. I am going to write this R2 as it is because there is no any transformation we are doing currently in this step. so it will be as it is let me write these values from previous one now let's apply this first equation to this column what is r1 0 plus 0.5 into what is r2 minus 0.6666 so let me do this 0.5 into minus 0.6666 so it will be minus 0.333 so let me write minus 0. 3333 now to this column again apply what is r1 it is 0.125 plus 0.5 into what is r2 0.0833 so let us solve this 0.125 plus 0.5 into bracket 0.0833 so you will get answer as 0.1666 so let me write it as 0.1666 Again, apply for this particular column. What is R1? R1 is zero plus 0.5 into R2 is 0.1666. Whatever step I am doing here, you have to do it rough. No need to write it in an examination. Just answers are required. So this will be 0.0833. Now to this, if I apply here, what is R1? Zero. What is R2? Zero. So you will get this answer as a zero. now let me write it okay just a minute i will do here some space now let me write this particular equation terms here and at this side i am writing so if you apply for this particular column in this column then what is r3 i i am writing here r3 is 8 plus 4 into r2 is minus 0.6666 okay so let me find it out 8 plus 4 into minus 0.6666 so what is the answer you will get here a term as 5.3336 this will be 5.3336 then try to apply for this column so what is your r3 r3 is 0 plus 4 into 0.0833 so if you do it 4 into 0.0833 you will get answer as 0.3332 Okay. Again, for this column, if you apply, what is R3? I am writing it here. R3 is zero. Okay. Plus four into zero point 
0.1666. So if you do 4 into 0 0.1666, you will get answer as 0 0.6664. And uh, here if you apply for a last column, what is R3? 1. R2 is 0. So you will get this answer as a 1. I think you people have understood how to solve this. Now next will be step number 5. Now what to do here? We have to make this element 1. Means we need to do a changes in R3. And how to make that element 1? Just we have to divide that element by that element itself. Okay means we have to divide it by 5.3336 so as there is no change in the R1 so let me write all the terms of R1 here as it is 0 0.1666 0 0.0833 this will be 0 it is as it is now this will be 0 this will be 1 this is minus 0 0.3666 then this will be 0 0.0833 this will be 0 0.1666 this will be 0 now we are trying to do a change in the R1 so that's why now sorry R3 so that's why if you go for this column what is your R3 value 0 0.3332 divided by 5.3336 so what you will get you will get answer as 0 0.06247 0 0.06247 Try to apply for this column, so it will be what? 0 0.6664 divided by 5.3336. So you will get answer as 0 0.1249. And try to apply for this column, 1 divided by 5.3336. So what you will get here, you will get answer as 0 0.1874. Now what is the next step? What to do here? The next step is nothing but I am writing this step number 6 here. With the help of this one element, we have to make R10 and R20. So we have to change in a R1, so I am writing it as R1 equal to R1. We have to take help of a R3, so I am taking it as a R3. So plus 0 0.3333. Similarly, R2 will be equal to R2 plus 0.6666 here it will be so let me do uh, this particular step here so it will be 100 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 now we are going to do a changes in r1 and r2 only so let me write this r3 term as it is 0 0.06247 0 0.1249 and 0 0.187 so let me apply this equation R1 plus 0.333 R3 to this column. So what is R1 here? R1 is 0.1666 plus 0.3333 into R3 is 0.06247. So what is the answer? 0.1666 plus 0.3333 into 0.06247. So you will get answer as 0 0.1874. So let me write this answer 0 0.1874. Now again apply to this column. What is R1? 0 0.0833 plus 0 0.3333 into R3 is 0 0.1249. So if you do it 0 0.0833 plus 0 0.3333 into 0.1249 then you will get answer as 0 0.1249 okay then uh, try to apply to this column what is r1 r1 is 0 plus 0 0.3333 into r3 r3 is 0 0.1874 so if you do it 0 0.3333 into 0 0.1874 you will get answer as 0 0.06246 so this is what is your R1 now try to apply this equation R2 equation so let me minimize this so that or reduce the screen size so that I will be able to write it here so for this particular row what is your R2 I will be writing here R2 is what 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट थ्री थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स 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 इंटू आर थ्री जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स टू फोर सेवन ओके सो इफ यू डू इट वॉट यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट थ्री थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स 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 इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स टू फोर सेवन सो यू विल गेट आंसर एज जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फोर नाइन सो हियर इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फोर नाइन ट्राई टू अप्लाई टू दिस सेकेंड वन सेकेंड कॉलम सो वॉट इज आर टू लेट मी राइट इट हियर आर टू इज पॉइंट वन सिक्स 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 ओके देन इफ यू सी प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स 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 इंटू आर थ्री इज पॉइंट वन टू फोर नाइन सो वॉट इज आंसर पॉइंट वन सिक्स 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 प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स 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 इंटू ब्रैकेट पॉइंट वन टू फोर नाइन सो यू विल गेट आंसर हियर एज पॉइंट टू फोर नाइन एट सो पॉइंट टू फोर नाइन एट एंड अप्लाई टू दिस पर्टिक्युलर थर्ड कॉलम वॉट इज आर टू जीरो सो लेट मी राइट इट हियर जीरो प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स 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 इंटू आर थ्री इज पॉट पॉइंट वन एट सेवन फोर सो इट विल बी पॉइंट सिक्स 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 इंटू पॉइंट वन एट सेवन फोर सो यू विल गेट दिस आंसर एट जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फोर नाइन नाउ वॉट यू ऑब्जर्व हियर नाउ हियर यू गॉट दिस आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स एंड वॉट एवर हियर यू गॉट द वैल्यूज दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए मैक्स सो वेन वी स्टार्टेड वेन वी स्टार्टेड here if if you see this was your a matrix and this was your identity matrix but when you do a row transformation same as that of your gauss jordan method so you got this answer so what is the answer of a inverse if you want to write it you can write it as 0.1874.1249.0.06247 second column will be 0.1249 Point two four nine eight, point one two four nine. Third will be zero point zero six two four six, then zero point one two four nine, and zero point one eight seven four. So this is what is a problem. How to solve a given matrix and how to find it out its inverse by using Gauss-Jordan method. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt. please feel free to ask any questions thanks a lot for watching this video